What's up guys, James with Fanatics and Jacqueline Games here. Uh, bring you some quick information about Pokemon this week actually. We've got our pre-release coming up on Saturday the 25th. It's going to be great, the new Sword and Shield set looks amazing. Uh, if you want to join us, it's going to be at 2 o'clock that day, I believe with a $30 buy-in. Uh, you get the build and play deck, or build and play packs that come with content from the unreleased set. And you get to build your deck out of that and then play a few rounds with the new cards and see how they work out. So along that same vein, uh, we're about to show you some footage of some of our great local players, giving you some information about cards that they're excited for. Howdy, what's up? I'm Joshua. I'm a local player here at Fanatics. I'm really excited about the new set coming out, uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. I think it introduces a lot of new cards that are going to be good for the meta game, hopefully. Uh, personally, I'm a Pikaron player, so I'm really excited about Tapu Koko V, a uh, new card that's coming out in the new set. It's a uh, well, it's a V card, so it's uh, you know part of the new V card stuff. Uh, it's got 200 HP. It uh, has the, its first attack. Uh, I forget the name of it, but it's 20 damage for a lightning energy. It draws two cards. I think that's pretty good um, compared to some other starts. Usually, you want to start with, like Jirachi, but I feel if you end up with Tapu Koko V and you're starting and you're as you're active and you can't get it out, I feel like drawing two cards isn't too bad. But really, I feel like sells with its next attack, which is two lightning energy and a colorless which deals 200 damage, but it can't attack next turn. But it's like uh, Attack Bolt GX or Pika Roll, but without the GX attack. So you get to keep your GX attack for like Lightning Ride, GX, or full or Attack Bolt. Uh, so I think that's a really good uh, flex option for the deck. It gives it another uh, consistent attacker, I feel. Uh, I've tried out Mega Low Punny and Jigglypuff GX tech came out. It didn't really feel like it fed the mold, so I really am excited on top of Coco B coming in to fit a uh, much needed roll in, needing uh, a good attacker that is also not a GX, so it's not, it's not weak to like Mega Low Punny and Jigglypuff and, and Keldeo GX, which uh, I feel is where top of Coco B is going to shine and peek her off and get rid of more cards like uh, Keldeo GX. Also, another card I'm excited for is Marnie. Uh, so what you do is you shuffle, both players shuffle their hands and then put those cards on the bottom of the deck. And, but you draw five and they draw four, so it's pretty much like Judge, which was shuffle, both players shuffle their cards into the deck and draw four. But you get an extra card, so I feel um, it gives you a nice plus as compared to a Judge. Uh, but the thing is, and you also don't get those cards back either because you put them on the bottom of the deck. Sometimes when you shuffle your hand in your deck, you'll get like a card back. like. Say you didn't want that certain energy or like that trainer card, you want something else, but you shuffle your deck and you get that energy or the trainer card back. Uh, this helps prevent that because you drop from the top of your deck, so you'll be uh, kind of going a little bit deeper into your deck. So I'm really excited about the card. So it's kind of like Reset Stamp as well, but uh, it has like the Reset Stamp effect like I'm saying, but I'm really excited about it because you know you get to go a little deeper into your deck. You don't get the same cards you shuffle back in your deck and you also get more more than one card in your pile, so it's definitely a good advantage. And yeah, I'm really excited about this set. I hope it turns out to be well. I think it'll be very well for the metagame. Uh, we'll see how the rule changes are, though. Uh, not super stellar about some of the rule changes, but we'll see how it goes. I think it'll be good, though, for the game. What's going on, guys? My name's Collar, and I'm here to talk about the cards that I personally find very interesting to the Sword Show set. Um, one card I'm really interested in is Galarian Obstagoon, mainly due to the fact of its ability in uh, Galarian Zigzagoon. Uh, Zigzagoon, you can slap it on your bench, you get to put one damage counter on any Pokemon on your opponent's bench or just their side of the field in general. Uh, Lightning doesn't really have an ability, but it's good. I would only run maybe two or three, but Obstagoon is really where it gets in to where you want it to be. Four, so at that point, that Pokemon already has four damage counters. You've got things like uh, Develop all the GX. You have one darkness energy, it can GX, and if your opponent's Pokemon has exactly four damage counters on it, it's just a knockout. The Galarian Obstagoon deck, to me personally, is probably one of my go to decks that I'll be playing. Uh, going forward, hey guys, I'm Timothy, and I'm super excited for this new set. Um, 
for a while the game has been like a little bit still just because some of the supporter type cards that we're used to haven't been in the game. Like um, cards that you discard in game draw seven, or cards that really let you it's tools that let you switch out the active. But we're pretty much getting some really good stuff. So I look forward to it. I especially look forward to discarding and drawing seven cards. Hello, I'm Joshua Wilson, and I'm really excited about the Cross Moth Labyrinth Z Max combo. It does damage equal to the number of water energies attached to the Labyrinth. It could be super consistent, it could be super powerful. I'm excited for the ball trainer coming out to start struggling. I'm also excited, especially for Evolution Innocence. I didn't really try to do it for a Evolution Pokemon and put it in your hand. Be really good in the deck because it's all going to be stage one Pokemon, and it's a simple deck. It should be easy to build, super consistent, and that's what I'm kind of <laughs> Well, there you have it. Some news straight from the mouths of the players themselves. Uh, I know one of them mentioned the combo that I'm actually excited for already, so I won't go too in-depth on it, but the Frost Moth Lapras V uh, combo is going to be ridiculously strong. I'm calling it here, so when it wins any tournaments, you get to, uh, I get to point and laugh. Uh, but yeah, that's what our players are excited for, guys, and I hope to see you guys this Saturday. See you then.